Hi, this is uh, Buzz Burkhead. I'm at the Carroll Clinic Center. This is the Arthrex VIP planning platform. And we pulled this up, and here we have a 3D model. This is real time. You turn in a CT scan that's a one millimeter slice CT scan, and then you, within 24 hours, you get notified that the plan is up, and then you're able to uh, customize it uh, at will. And uh, it's a very flexible, very user-friendly uh, platform. The technicians have already put in this patient's native version, minus, almost minus five, uh, native inclination, positive eight degrees. The version control, if you look right down here, uh, I like maybe a little bit more retroversion in my patients. And so we'll just look at this screen and, and this screen here and we'll change the uh, version a little bit, make it a little more retroverted, and about minus seven degrees, kind of the standard average of a retroversion of the human glenoid. Inclination, I'm not a big believer in having any superior tilt on any kind of glenoid component, so I'm gonna take the inclination out of this. I'm gonna go ahead and, and angle the implant inferiorly a little bit back down to pretty much zero degrees just to avoid any tendency towards superior escape that the component might uh, create. Roll is this kind of axial motion and you can see looking here on the sagittal view again, the top of the glenoid should be at the very uh, base of the coracoid and so I'm going to roll this around a little bit to line that up. Now, you can change the type of implant you use with this, and we'll go to Implant Options, and we might want to try to see what a large glenoid could do for this patient. And there may be a little bit overhang here. This may be ossified uh, labrum that may get debrided, so I'd probably stick with a medium uh, component. And if you had a lot of deformity, you might want to use a keeled component. If this is pretty much uh, real-time changes that you're seeing. And then, or you, if you're doing a reverse, this is what a reverse component would do. Obviously, you would put it in a lot different position. So let's just go back to the uh, planned component, which is a pegged glenoid component. And I agree with the planners that a medium is the right size. I'm going to go back down to my uh, implant controls, and I've got my minus 7 degrees of version. I've got 0 degrees of inclination, roll of 25 degrees, and I'm going to go ahead and approve this plan. The whole process takes you about five minutes, and so I feel pretty confident that I've got this patient pretty accurately planned. Uh, for uh, the all-important step of glenoid placement. So we'll go back up here, approve the plan, and for this case, we'll have the 5D calibrator there and also the 3D model, and then finally, approve the plan. Thank you very much.